Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Algorithmic Illustrator. In this particular exam, um, uh, particular episode, we're gonna go over uh, Lead Code Six Seventeen, uh, basically merging two binary trees. Okay, so the problem statement. I mean, there was a uh, there was like four lines. I was too lazy, lazy to write down the entire thing, so I basically wrote the gist of it. So the idea is to overlap two binary trees. By overlapping, they mean to sum or add the two binary trees. Okay, so in this example, we have this tree one here and then tree two here. Uh, so basically what you have to do is you have to combine them um, into this uh, combine both of the trees and return the new um, uh, new tree added okay and uh, the problem doesn't say but we're we're allowed to override the values for t1 essentially uh, that's the way we're going to do it um, and so what what the idea here is that um, so we want so let's take a simple example right so we have something say t1 is something like three T2 something like 2 and say we have like 1 here and then um, we have like 3 here right so the result of combining both of these trees will actually be something like this it will be um, 5 um, with 1 and 3 okay so this is what what it means okay so if if the left child is null or not uh, right child is null then we're gonna just take the non null node and we're gonna put it basically essentially okay um so that's pretty much it um this is actually really straightforward with recursion with breadth for search um it, it gets kind of tricky because you have to use this um use a stack and you have to figure out whether there's left child right child put it and so forth uh let's just go over the simple approach here using um recursion so the generally the way to think about trees is that you have a particular root node and then you have a left uh left uh, sub child and then write subchild, right? Um, so in this particular example here, uh, what we can do is we can think of a really simple scenario here, right? So um, ultimately, we want to combine and add the result to uh, t t1's note, and we want to return it, right? So we will eventually have some statement like t1 dot val equals t1 dot val plus t2 dot val value, right? Uh, we eventually want to add those two values together and return it. Um, let's think about scenario here, right? So if the right child is missing and the right child is of the tree, the tree two is there, right? Then we want to return the the three here, right? We want to return the non-null node here. Similarly, if the left child of you know t one, um, you know is is null, right? Uh, is non-null and and then t two is null. We want to return t one, right? So let's uh, let's code that up first, right? So we're gonna we have some function, right? Which we're gonna we're passed in merge two trees, uh, and we're passed in t one's pointer and t two points pointer, right? So eventually we want to say something like if t one is you know is none, right? Uh, then we return t two, right? Then uh, eventually we also say something like if t two is uh, if t2 is none, uh, then we return t1, okay? Um, so then what we can do is we, so if, um, so in this example here, in in the first case here, so we start with the root here, both of these are not null, so we can just add it together and, and, and override this value in t1, okay? So uh, t1.val equals t1.val plus t2.val, Right, so we add those two things together. Right, else we uh, look at the left subtree here. Right, and uh, um, here in this case we move to the left subtree, and uh, we have to recurse on the left subtree essentially. Right, so we have to do something like merge, um, you know, two trees. Right, and uh, we have to say t one dot left and then t two dot left. Right. And then so here in this case, uh, t one dot left there is a, uh, there is a, um, a a node, so this will return the correct uh, output value. But t two node is null, right? So we return t one in that case. Okay, so this works. Okay, so we say t one dot left is equal to merge two trees, right? And similarly, we do the same thing with t one dot right. Okay, t one dot right is equal to merge two trees t1 dot right and t2 dot right okay 
because we want to see in this case if this is null, right? We want to return this one, right? So we recurse essentially on the left subtrees and the right subtrees, and if the, both of them are no, or either of them are null, or both of them are null, we handle those cases respectively, okay? And then in the very end, since we've computed this recursively, right, we can just return t1, right? Since t1, we compute the sum here in this particular line here. Uh, we compute the sum of both t1 plus t2. We modify the value of t1, so we just return t1 in the very end, okay? So that's the general idea here. Again, recursion is a way to go. It's, it's really easy to think about that in terms of that because um, we can just call recursively on each of the left subtree and right subtree, and we can handle those cases where one of them is null, one of them is not null, if both of them are, are null, and so forth, okay? So uh, that's the general gist of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, let's look at my submission on the code. See you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So here's my submission on the code for uh, problem number 617, merging two binary trees, okay? Uh, the code is really concise because I'm using recursion and um, using recursion makes the code pretty trivial and easy to understand. So essentially what I have here is the first case where um, essentially if the left node is null, then I want to return whatever is in, in the right tree. And if the right, uh, if the uh, right child or not exactly right child if if the particular node from t1 is none I want to return t2 and if the particular node from t2 is null I want to return the node from t1 uh, which is what I do here from from lines 8 to 10 um, and then if um, you know if everything goes well I add uh, these two values from the two trees um, so initially I would start here and I would add one and three right and I would repeat the process for it's left and sub uh, ref, left subchilds and right subchilds recursively, which is what I do here. So I say t one dot left equals left dot merge trees t one dot f and t two dot def. So that just repeats the entire process here, and then basically goes through and checks. Okay, is, is are three and one present? If so, I'm going to add them. Um, is five, you know, and whatever is here is present? No, there's no no uh, there's no node present from from here uh, from t two. So I'm going to return uh, the node from t one here. So it's gonna keep on repeating that process recursively. And um, so which is what I do on lines 13 and 14. Um, so I recursively set the left and right subchild to be equal to the sum of um, of both of both the trees, okay? And I finally I return T1. So T1 is gonna have the modified values, okay? Uh, pretty straightforward, let's see, um, let's see how my code runs. So, uh, so it finished and um, let's see here. So this is the input and it gave me five four five five four null seven five and the expected answer is the same. Um, let's go ahead and try to submit this and see what happens. Okay, it got accepted. Okay, awesome. So uh, this code is in Python and um, uh, take this code and, and please code it in your favorite language and make sure you understand the code. All right guys, see you in the next video. Okay, bye.